Located in the heart of Sequoia County is Salisaw, Oklahoma, a small but growing community built on pride and dedicated to excellence. The portion of Oklahoma that is now Sequoia County has been in possession of four nations, Spain, France, the Cherokee Nation Indian Territory, and the United States. Salisaw, the county seat, is situated at the southern edge of the famed Cookson Hills. It is located on two trunk line railroads and served by highways 59 and 64, as well as Interstate 40. Salisaw derived its name from the French word salazu, or salt provisions. Salt deposits along the streams in this area furnished salt used by buffalo hunters and early settlers to preserve meat. Evidence of old salt kettles is still found in the county. Salazar's establishment date is commonly given as March 17, 1886. On that date, the Missouri Pacific Railroad, then known as the Kansas and Arkansas Valley Railroad, was completed into Salazar, where three pioneer families were living. The community was incorporated in 1886 in the state of Arkansas, where the town was located at the time. The railroad provided economic opportunity for farmers to market their agricultural products, the Trail of Tears National Historic Trail commemorates the removal of the Cherokee and the paths that 17 Cherokee detachments followed westward. Today, the trail encompasses about 2,200 miles of land and water routes and runs through portions of nine states. The Trail of Tears runs through Salisaw. The marker commemorating it can be seen north of the city on Highway 59. Salisaw has many local points of interest, from scenic lakes and parks to historical museums and landmarks. Located to the north and east of Salisaw is Sequoia's home site. Sequoia was a Cherokee soldier and teacher who gained worldwide fame when he devised the Cherokee vocabulary. His statue is in the nation's capital as one of Oklahoma's two greatest men. The giant redwood trees of California are named for him. The original log cabin home of Sequoia is located three miles north on Highway 59, then East State Highway 101. Built in 1829, it contains many artifacts relative to Sequoia's remarkable achievements. The Sequoia's home historical site is open year-round, Tuesday through Friday, 9 a.m. to 5 p.m., and Saturdays and Sundays from 2 to 5 p.m. The admission is free, so come on out and pay a visit to one of Oklahoma's greatest men, a man who wrote his own alphabet. Just east of downtown Salisaw on Cherokee Avenue sits the 14 Flags Museum. Built in 1845, it features the restored cabin of Judge Franklin Faulkner, a pioneer lawyer of Sequoia County. The oldest structure at the 14 Flags Museum is thought to be the Lattimore Cabin. Built by Samuel Lattimore around 1835, the little log cabin provides a good view of the living standards of the Cherokee settlers who came to what is now called Oklahoma. Fourteen Flags derives its name from the fact that Oklahoma has been the home of 14 different nations. The Fourteen Flags Museum is open from 8.30 a.m. to 5 p.m. and admission is free. Many visitors to our area want to see the resting place of one of Salisaw's most infamous citizens. His name is Charles Arthur Floyd, but you may know him as Pretty Boy. Pretty Boy was a notorious gangster in the 20s and 30s that became famous for robbing banks. On one instance, a crowd of Salisaw citizens actually stood in the street and watched him rob their own bank. The gangster, Pretty Boy Floyd's gravesite, is found north of Salisaw in the Aiken Cemetery. Nestled in gently rolling foothills of the Ozark Mountains, 
Sequoia National Wildlife Refuge is home to wildlife as unique as the bald eagle and as elusive as the bobcat. Fertile bottomlands at the confluence of the Arkansas and Canadian rivers make this East Central Oklahoma refuge a terrific wildlife viewing destination. The 20,800 acre refuge is one of 548 refuges and one of 37 wetland management districts throughout the U.S. managed by the Fish and Wildlife Service. The National Wildlife Refuge System is the only national system of lands dedicated to conserving our wildlife heritage for people today and for generations to come. Dwight Mission was moved to Sequoia County from the Russellville, Arkansas area in 1829 by the Presbyterian Church and was founded as a boarding school for the Cherokees. The school was closed in 1948, but Dwight Mission continues as a Presbyterian Church camp, retreat, and conference center. It is located 11 miles northwest of Salisaw. For tours and booking information, call 918-775-2144. Among the historical sites that Sequoia County has to offer, it also has many beautiful lakes and parks that are ideal for fishing, swimming, and camping sites. Located in the scenic, wooded Cookson Hills of eastern Oklahoma, this park offers visitors a quiet, secluded recreation destination with camping, picnic areas, fishing, and boating. Facilities include eight day-use picnic areas with tables and grills, group shelters with electricity, 23 concrete camping sites including RV sites, playgrounds, and a lighted boat ramp, as well as boat and fishing docks. For young and old alike, Kerr Lake has a variety of recreation for everyone, from swimming on our mini beaches to camping and picnicking in one of our five park areas. Our camping areas include facilities such as boat launching ramps, designated campsites, picnic areas, drinking water, shower facilities, and sanitary facilities. Located west of Salisaw on 64 Highway is Salisaw Creek Park, a very scenic park with the old Highway 64 bridge running through it. One of the unique features of this park is the small dam at the north end of the park. The park offers two covered picnic shelters, sanitary facilities, a playground, and swimming and fishing areas. Well, this concludes our short tour of Salisaw. I hope you've enjoyed our time together, and we hope to see you again real soon. So farewell from the great city of Salisaw, where the end of the trail begins here. For more information on Salisaw, visit www.salisawchamber.com.